First up, we have in Mark and Carol Watts on behalf of the family. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Mark. Are we white? Uh, on behalf of Carol and myself, we would like to thank every, everybody for being here tonight. Uh, we are so happy to be celebrating the wedding of Zach and Blair. Uh, Blair's been lovely and we've loved her since from the outset. Uh, Carol is the spokesman of the family, so I'm quite happy to give her the full reign tonight on uh, what, she, what she wants to say, and she's been planning this for quite a while. So, uh, um, so I'll hand her, it over to her. Yeah. We, firstly, we are so thrilled to have our dear friends here with us tonight that have come so far, and we very much appreciate it. I have my oldest friend here tonight, my best friend since I was a very little girl, and we have celebrated so many occasions together, and here we are again. It's so amazing that we're still sharing our lives together. We hold all of our friends dear to us, and we appreciate you all so much being here, more than we can say. There are family that couldn't come. We know that they're all very much thinking of us today. Our families hold Zach in high regard and are very much impressed with Blair. They have said many times what a wonderful girl he has found. Our very special niece is here to, tonight, Carla. Her mum and dad couldn't be here due to her dad's sudden illness earlier this year. Carla is about to turn 30 in a week's time. She's also announced her engagement two weeks ago. Congratulations. Yeah. Carla was born nine weeks after Zach, so they've been brought up very closely together and have a special bond. We're so happy, Carla, for you, with everything that's happening for you. Natasha's here, of course. She is our firstborn. Zach was born three years after her. They've always shared a beautiful relationship and love each other dearly. Nothing could have stopped her from being at her brother's wedding. We know we are so blessed to have two such loving children. We are proud of them both beyond words. We rest easy knowing that they're there for each other always. Today is about Zach and Blair. So firstly, we'd like to say a few things about our Zach. I guess as parents we would like to take credit for the beautiful individual he is inside and out. He's a kind, loving, considerate boy, but the truth is he's responsible for who he is. There were many times when he was growing up that teachers and coaches would pull us aside and tell us of his good manners and kindness for others and so on. Of course he wasn't always like that at home. <laughs> he tested us with his fussiness for food. Onion was the enemy for him. He would come home from school and tell us that none of his friends' family gave them anything with onion on it. I think a few of them are here tonight. Uh, Turn the pay. <laughs> it took us over six years to get him to sleep in his own room. <laughs> in fact, we would ask his uncle Peter, who is a child psychologist, how best to achieve results with him. On one occasion, I offered him $50 to stop biting his nails for at least three weeks. He promptly did that. As soon as the three weeks were up and he had the money, he went back to biting his nails. His friends, his friends' parents then had their sons suddenly start biting their nails to try and make a deal with them. Peter was right when he said it wouldn't work. He would be mischievous with boys in the street there were a few times we had neighbours knock at our door and tell us what Zach had been up to. <laughs> One time he badly damaged a neighbour's prized agapantha plants. That particular neighbour was in tears. Apparently they take forever to grow. <laughs> there was a day and with two other boys in our street, he collected dozens of redback spiders from drains and so on in a plastic container and then ran home excitedly to show them to me. 
I'm quite sure my screens were heard loud and clear. He hid under his bed on another day when a neighbour came to tell us he had turned off the neighbour's electricity up and down the street. We are sure they were on edge with what he would do next. All the time we were there saying, he is only a little boy. Zach was a talented all-round athlete throughout his school years until midway through year 12, where a serious injury brought his dreams of becoming a professional footballer to an end. He then turned his attention to university and did well achieving, achieving his degree. We are proud that he coped well with the loss of his sporting dream. A few years ago, we were talking about life with him in general, and he suddenly told us he was going to find a nice girl. We were hopeful. <laughs> Never did we dream he would find someone like Blair. We are still impressed with him to this day that he found such a girl. She, like him, she, like him, has wonderful values, is of strong character, moral, smart, and is such a beautiful soul. We love that Blair's family means so much to her. Family means so much to us too. We want Ra and Millie to know that we are so grateful for your beautiful Blair. You have raised a wonderful girl. She is very thoughtful, well-mannered girl. We welcome Blair into our family with open arms. We have watched Blair with her grandmother, Juby. How loving she is with her and hope that we have that with our grandchildren when, we, when they are grown. Natasha and Zach were so loved by their grandparents. They were very loving with them as well. They would be very proud of them today. Zach is named after his paternal grandfather. Blair joins us with Natasha and Rowan, little Misha and Oscar, who are back at home with Rowan. We wish that they were with us, but due to the children's ages, they stayed at home with their dad. They also love Blair and Zach. Zach and Blair, have done well together, they have travelled extensively, have had some wonderful experiences together, they've purchased their first home, it is lovely. Today they have committed the rest of their lives together. Life as we know can get rocky. Stick together, support each other always, if things get hard and you can navigate life together. Treasure moments of memories of this day together and your love for each other. We love you with all our hearts. We wish nothing but hope and joy for you. Please raise your glasses for Zach and Blair. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you again. You'll have to excuse my sexy voice. <laughs> The Watts family seem to have come down with a nasty plague, so I'm sorry, I'm not infectious. I've just had to do a lot of talking the last few days, so. I'm here on behalf of um, Carla, our cousin's parents, Trisha and Peter, Zach and I's uncle and auntie. Um, Trish is mum's twin sister, identical twin sister, and unfortunately due to um, a really uh, tragic health incident with my uncle Peter. He couldn't be here tonight. But they've written something for Zach. Firstly, we want to congratulate you both on your wedding day. Whilst we're not physically with you, we certainly are in our hearts. Because Zach is exactly the same age as his cousin, our daughter Carla, he was a very large part of our life from when they were babies. Their mothers, who are identical twins, took turns looking after each other's children whilst the other worked. So we really spent a lot of time with Zach in his first few years of life. Carla desperately wanted to live with Zachary and Natasha, so much so that we thought we had a death wish on us. <laughs> Zach is a kind and thoughtful person and Blair's family must be delighted to know that she will be loved and cared for, not only by Zach, but his extended family that are with them today and also at home in Australia. We're so very pleased that you chose each other as life partners because we think you're so well suited. 
you clearly love each other and that's the main ingredient for a marriage. Other ingredients that can be added are kind words, laughter and finally from a couple who can attest to this last one, supporting each other when things go wrong. Love always prevails in any situation. Our love, Peter and Trish. Hi guys, welcome. Kelly, mark your speech. I might as well tear up mine. <laughs> Damn. I tried to write up a speech, but I can't even read it, so it was a waste of time. <laughs> it's incomplete, so I'll try and read it from my heart. I need you all this mic so you feel part of my speech. I believe as parents, we play a major impact on the lives of our kids and on this planet and how much of a footprint we leave behind on them and this world. The greatest gift we can give to our kids is trust and belief. Give them a strong foundation and they will grow and believe and trust in them as they are byproducts of us. And I assure you, a bond we share with them will never be broken. Today, as I look from afar and a distance when I see in Blair, it brought a tear to my eye and everyone thought I would cry. But wow, does she look stunning. Don't you guys agree? What, an, what a beautiful child and what an exotic look she has. That meek blood shows through you, darling. When I finally had the nerve to walk up to Blair, and I thought I'd be in the car alone and drive up with her and have a few time of our own, I guess that never ventured, but that's okay. I have the rest of my life with her. Zach, you may be the husband, but I'm the main man. Just putting out there, mate. I'll always be the main man. We are all defined by the choices we make in life. We try to surround us with people who make us better people and teach us the right way. I don't know why I'm reading from this. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> and people who we surround make us better people are the ones that guide us to this journey of life. Life is not about the positions we have, positions we have, the car we drive, I've got to get that house. I got. Success comes at a price and a sacrifice. Something has to give. So you choose wisely. Is your wife more important, like, like the priest said? You choose to be fat or you choose <laughs> to be a friend and have an eye in it. When you do things, do it together as a team. At the end of the tunnel, there's a light. Two are stronger than one. Get one another's back. Two deep is better than one deep, and you'll get through it. There'll come times when it'll be we'll be trying, and we, we don't know the answers. Look back to your parents. Zach, you come from a, an amazing family. 25, 30 years of marriage. 25 years with my wife this year. It wasn't easy. It looks easy, but it's never easy. It's sharing a life together and understanding one another. Life is a balance. One day you give more, one day you give less. But it's a scale. It's not how much you give and how much you receive. It's giving freely. I didn't write anything out of Blair because Blair is a byproduct of me, and I think I'm a good man. <laughs> she, looks, she just looks like me, so I must be a... And obviously, a fantastic wife, fantastic grandparents to help the journey. Zach and Blair, love is a word. Love is just a word, unless you give it a meaning. Once you give love a meaning, it's all about trust, loving, understanding, and being there for one another. If you truly love one another, you will succeed in everything in life. So love one another truly from today until onwards. There'll be days it'll be hard but trust and love one another and make the right choices. But anyway, Carol, props to you for raising a, a fine young man. Zach is a, is Mark and Carol, you've got a fantastic young man. He has the values of life. He treats play like an angel. And we as, we as parents can only dream that someone will take care of our baby girl, and I have no doubt. I am so confident he will do. I've bought him his favorite drink. <laughs> By the way, he drinks a hell of a lot. I don't know if you guys taught him that, but <laughs> damn. And still walks straight. Zach, this is the Chinese whiskey you talk about. Japanese, sit down, don't drink it, keep it for the bar.
And to Blair, you're an amazing, strong young girl. When you set your mind to something, you see it through. Many of us say, OK, don't worry, we'll do it tomorrow. But you, you will set your goals. If you start work, you'll start five minutes behind. You don't take after me, you take after your mother. If I start at 8 o'clock, I, I leave home at 8 o'clock to get to work. <laughs> so all the bad that I do and the good she gets is from her mum. So a credit goes to her mum. A good looks come from me, and the kind ways come from me. She's the firm one. Zach has his way with me because I'm soft-hearted and looks after my daughter, so I'll have a soft part for him. But I've got two cars waiting for you to clean. <laughs> and I'm training Mark to, tr to wash my daughter's car. The car is dirty, but he lets his wife drive in a car. I'm sure you wash Carol's car. We just want to thank you for being a special part in this relationship, in this journey, bringing up our kids. We, as, we as, as a family have been a very close-knit family. We sort of like find our own ways in this life, but events like this bring us together. And friends and family, you, you don't have to be family by blood. You've just got to be there and try to make everyone a better person and treat this planet as a better planet. We have God in our lives. We do good to others. The rest will fall in place. So everything else is immaterial. Tonight, it shows our blessings by bringing each and every one of you here. For the ones that haven't been here or have left us too soon, they're smiling down in heaven, and I'm sure they're saying, well done, guys. So in the words of our forefathers, Amanda Oetu means the power is in our hands. The power is in your guys' hands. Go well, guys. It means go well. Danki, nyabonga. Thanks for coming, and good luck, and may your journey be fruitful. And have grandkids so we can look after them. Everybody, here we are in Koh Samui, hey? Woo! Yes! The wedding of one of my dearest friends, Zach, and beautiful Blair. You look a million dollars today, Blair. Honestly, can't, cannot fault you in any way. <laughs> to the beautiful bridesmaids, Holly, Janelle, Chloe, Amber, you all looked amazing. With your help, you girls lit up that church today, all right? So... <clears throat> For those of you guys that don't know me, um, obviously uh, my name's Louie and me and Zach have been friends for, it's got to be 17 years going on, nearly 18 years. We went, to, we went to school together, you know, we played sports, footy together, we've travelled together, we lived together for a few years. <laughs> and in that time, we made so many fond memories that for me anyway, will we'll last a lifetime. So, um... <laughs> I know the role of the best man is to, you know, rip shit on this guy. <laughs> We're not going to do that. We're, I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to tell you a bit of a story of where, where this man's come from and where he is today. Today is uh, one of those amazing days, you know, that makes the world a better place. Let's be honest. I would like to start my speech today by, you know, congratulating both Blair and Zach on, on such a beautiful wedding day and thanking them for having me here to share such an important moment in their lives. A wedding day is a very special day. It is, of course, the promise these two make to share a life together, but it's also that moment in life where, the, where these two people's love is shared with the world. The love Zach has for Blair is unimaginable. From the moment um, he told me about her, I knew she was the one for him. She is one hell of a woman. Well, she has to be to put up with Zach, right? <laughs> Zach and Blair quite, uh, make quite the team together. Um, I've never seen anyone Zach has ever previously been with bring out the best of him like Blair does. And although we all know how Zach can be, let's say childish, <laughs> to say the least, <laughs> when, uh, when Zach's with Blair, the, he becomes a better person. And this is the most important thing in a relationship. Uh, over the years, Zach has had some ups and downs. Uh, we all know that life's a roller coaster and that Zach is no exception to this. Um, I used to think Zach would have made the NRL when we went to school. He loved footy. And when he broke his ankle, I knew he was shattered. But Zach didn't let this stop him from becoming a success. He went on to then pursue a criminology degree and had his sights set on being a detective. 
let me tell you, <laughs> the amount of gross videos that Zach subjected me to and all the, <laughs> all in the cause of desensitization, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> and yet, for most people who looked at Zach at this time and thought he was a little bit messed up, it showed me just how dedicated Zach is when he sets his mind to things. You're no exception to this. I know Zach better than most people, and you have got yourself a caring, loyal, and hard-working partner who I know would give anything to make you happy. And for that, I think you're very lucky. So we know Zach isn't a detective today. <laughs> Again, another one of life's setbacks. <laughs> But, you know, Zach, although heartbroken, didn't let this bring him down. You know, he took a look in the mirror, thought about what he liked and what he was interested in, and whilst working at his local master's store, grew a passion for paint. I wonder where this comes from, Marky. <laughs> this wasn't always Zach's dream, but Zach's hard work paid off. He was scouted by one of the world's largest paint companies, Velspa, and became a very successful paint rep in the greater Brisbane region. And from there, took another opportunity which leads us to his current career today. Now, my, my point of all this is simple. Zach doesn't give up. He works hard to get where he is and where he wants to be. And he has always been a role model to me, even if he doesn't think so. Now, look, I could tell you a whole bunch of stories, but I'm sure Zach's probably told them all a thousand times himself. <laughs> The problem is Zach's far too open. <laughs> so let's just end it with this. Let's raise a glass to Blair and Zach Watts. Here's to a life of happiness, my friends. Love you both. Love you, Love you. So my name is Holly, um, I'm Blair's cousin slash sister slash best friend slash the person Zach is most open sharing things to, <laughs> even though I'm not a guy and he forgets that sometimes. Um, anyways, um, Blair and I have grown up together. So Blair is a year older than me and when I was younger I never let her forget it, but now I, I try to. Um, but. We've always done things together, and it may surprise people that we're so close because we're so different. Um, in high school, Blair was really into sports. I was really into debating. Um, Blair won an award for two years in a row, not missing any school, and I was told if I missed any more days, I wouldn't graduate. <laughs> um, Blair likes to be on time. I roll on African time. <laughs> Blair likes TV shows. I um, binge read books. Uh, Blair likes jeans and sneakers. I don't own a pair of jeans and wear dresses only. Blair is very responsible and I'm the crazy person that she keeps in line. <laughs> and so um, Blair and I have been very good despite these differences, I think. The thing that held us together was our common values um, that our parents instilled in us. Believe it or not, at 18 years old, what we would do on a Friday night was go to church and pray for three hours. <laughs> um, and we um, hardly ever got drunk. We <coughs> were always um, pretty good. We didn't date through high school or through our early 20s or uni. So um, we were always just the two of us. And then um, when she decided to move to Brisbane, she called me one day and she said, oh, I met someone. I was like, oh, OK, yeah, yeah. And um, she goes, oh, um, so I met him on Tinder. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and then even worse, she goes, oh, he's a true blue Aussie. He's born here and bred here. And I was like, oh, wow, he must be really special. <laughs> <laughs> And then she goes, oh, he's like 6'4", and 
a white boy with tattoos. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm open-minded, we'll be great. <laughs> and then I met Zach and I was like, oh, you know, it's just been me and Blair for like 25 years. Um, I'm determined not to like you. And I don't have to look you in the eye because really I can't see you. <laughs> um, but to be honest, uh, Carol and Zach, um, Carol and Mark, sorry, you've raised an amazing man and um, I couldn't be happier for my cousin. And um, despite my best intentions, I love Zach as a brother and clearly he views me the same by the videos he shows me. <laughs> um, but welcome to the family, Zach. Um, you have uh, adopted a very loving, very involved African family. Um, so welcome and please know that you will always, always be included even when you don't want to be. <laughs> so, and the reason Blair and I say it was so close and so good um, was because our parents, God knew that they would need all the help they could for the siblings to come after. <laughs> and so, I'd just like to end by saying I haven't had many serious relationships, but I do know um, what makes when I look at someone and I can say, what well, makes love work? And these are my thoughts for you. You know, when you witness a wedding, you're not witnessing the fullness of love, you're witnessing the promise of love. So many couples have made it to the altar, but few have made it to the end. And so as many learn, vows are not made once before a crowd, they're made daily in the commitment you make to each other, in the self-sacrificing ways you say yes to we and no to I. And a beautiful wedding is amazing. This venue is incredible, and I'm so blessed to have so many of my family and friends around here who love you so much. But you know what's even more amazing, or what is even better, is a beautiful marriage. And I really, really hope and I really believe and pray every day that you two will see it through the end. And please give me a niece or a nephew ASAP, preferably tomorrow. <laughs>、gotta get, I gotta get used to saying wife and having a ring on my hand. I got fat fingers today too, they barely, barely, barely fit on my hand.、Yeah. Um, look, I really want to get the thank yous、um, out of the way and done with and to, because it's the most important thing. Everyone's travelled a really long, long way.、Um, I really want to thank all of you for being here for such a special day for Blair and I and our families. It really means the world to us.、Um, We have people who have travelled from the UK. UK people, put your hands up, please. Don't be shy.、Um, uh, we have a large contingent from New Zealand. New Zealand people, put your hand up, please. Come on. Even though I hate the Kiwis. <laughs> Not real football players. No, I'm joking.、Um, and obviously,、uh, Australia. We've got people from Australia, so Australians, put your hands up. Um, and obviously, and I've said last but not least, but last but not least, the Africans put your hand up. <laughs> Blair's true home country.、Um, all of you have made sacrifices in some way to be here, and for that we are extremely grateful. I also recognise that some people we love were unable to attend today, in particular our grandparents, who we know would have loved to be here with their family tonight. Such as Blair's grandparents, Ambrose and grandmother Lucky, who have both passed away. From my side, my grandmothers Dorothy and Edna, who both also are no longer with us. This makes Juby both of our grandmothers now. Juby? 
you are now my grandmother. <laughs> we would also like to make uh, a special mention to my uncle Peter and Arnie Trish, who, um, due to special circumstances, were unable to make it tonight. Um, I know when, when I get back, they'll be, we'll be showing them a video, and I want them to know that I love them very dearly. Um, they're with us here tonight in spirit, and we'll all be having many drinks um, for them. Um, bridesmaids, thank you so much for um, being there for my, my lovely wife. Um, as you all know, it hasn't been the smoothest sailing wedding. Um, but if it wasn't for all of you, um, it wouldn't have been possible. And I really appreciate you all being a really firm rock for Blair and getting her through such an um, important day, particularly in 40 degree heat. So thank you very much. Uh, Oh, and you all look gorgeous, okay? You all look gorgeous. I can't say the same thing about the groomsmen. I'd never call you gorgeous. <laughs> um, to the groomsmen, um, you know, uh, you are all, well, Dylan, you're literally a brother now. Um, so, you know. I got a chocolate brother. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> you know? I got a chocolate brother. You know? Sweet. I can listen to hip hop now, okay? <laughs> Um, to Owen, Trimmer, and, uh, or, or Mitch, I'll say, and, and, and Louis in particular, thank you for uh, being my other brothers and um, all the things you've had to put up with from my antics over the years. Uh, thank you for spoiling me all the time. Thank you for getting me through today in the last few days. Um, thank you for getting me through the Bucks party, which was pretty tame. We just played cards and sang songs <laughs> and... Um, it was quite a mature night. Um, so yeah, nah, thank you guys. Uh, Stefan, where's Stefan? Put your hands up, Stefan. Um, so Stefan did a lovely website for us for the wedding. Um, and he was also our music controller today at the church. So, um, <laughs> thanks a lot, Stefan. We really, we really do appreciate it. Uh, Where's, uh, where's MC Riggs? MC Riggs. Thanks, brother. We appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for controlling the day. Um, you know, uh, we love you dearly. And um, I'm going to outdrink you tonight. That's a promise. <laughs> um, Epi and Tare. So Tare is a lovely girl here in the pink dress. Um, red dress, slightly colorblind. Haven't been diagnosed, but it's obviously obvious. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was in quite bad condition. I am in bad condition now after two weeks in Koh Samui, but um, Epi and Tare, uh, Epi's Tare's husband, they have given us personal training for how long? Four, four months? Four or five months? And they have got us into condition for this wedding for me to fit in these pants tonight. Um, Thank you very much. Pass it on to Epi. Um, we are extremely, extremely grateful. And we got a pretty good discount. <laughs> um, Tina, I know Tina over here behind the speaker. She's our wedding planner. Um, thank you for helping and support us through, as I said earlier, it hasn't been the smoothest um, scenario, but you have got us through and you've gotten us a lovely venue, a lovely band, um, lovely people, and a lovely... Um, area, so thank you so much for all your support. I've saved the two biggest thank yous um, to last. Um, Mom, Dad, Millie and Ra, um, thank you so much for your love and support. Without the four of you, we would not have been able to have the wedding of our dreams, which we, we truly are having right now. You have all helped in a huge way to make today possible. And that honestly will never be forgotten. Um, Millie, I know for Blair, you've been her rock in, in, in um, you know, a long planning session for this wedding. And I know how grateful Blair honestly is. She sees you as the number one in her life. Sorry, Ra, but you got to... Give me back that 
<laughs> You're number two now, Ra. Take that. I got my revenge, thank you. Um, to my mum and dad, uh, thank you for making me um, the man I am today. Uh, words honestly aren't enough um, for all that you have done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am blessed to have such great parents. On that note, I would now like to thank my second parents, Ra and Millie. Thank you for accepting me into your family since day one. Deep down, I think that David's needed a little bit of Aussie in it. That's me. As you know, if it's white, it's right. No. Hey, uh... uh. <laughs> I must admit there was a plan to meeting Blair, alright? Alright, there was a plan to meeting Blair. Some may say the three most important things um, to finding a woman are good looks, personality, and independence, okay? Um, I definitely looked at this differently. The three things I looked for were firstly a smaller brother. If he was to ever get angry out of him, I know I could beat the shit out of you, Dylan, sorry, but... I have to say. I have to say. <laughs> Secondly, um, some form of chef in the family to ensure I'm getting restaurant quality food at least twice a week. What a coincidence, Raz a chef. <laughs> Last but not least, the physio. This keeps my healthcare bills down and my body in peak condition. So, Thanks, babe. Last but not least, to my beautiful wife. You have worked so hard to make this day so perfect. We have had many obstacles to get through to make today work, and if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, um, it honestly wouldn't have been possible. Your dedication, your dedication to us, your family, and this day has been truly amazing. You've helped turn my, lo my life around from what at times was very trying. You have helped me re-establish my faith, my confidence, and the, and the ability to see the true value of believing in yourself. You have an amazing soul, a humble heart, and are an, you're an inspiration to everyone around you. Blair, I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but what are you making of me. As you know, I am not perfect. As you know, we are not perfect. But a good marriage is not to be perfect. Instead, a good marriage is when an imperfect couple grows to enjoy their differences. I look forward to growing old with you. I look forward to having children with you. One thing I do not look forward to, but is you supporting every country in sport except Australia. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Blair, Blair supports a thousand countries. Blair has fallback in every sporting tournament. If it's not Zimbabwe, it's South Africa. If it's not South Africa, it's New Zealand. I am now your husband. <laughs> this means Australia now slips into top two somewhere. I will let you choose. Um, can everyone please raise a glass? Um, to family, to friends, to happiness, to Blair and I. Thank you.